Saturday night, who the hell's gonna be on TikTok? That's for sure. I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, some shit just came up, it's growing. So anyway, because my life is a shit show, um, went out, because I needed to, I need to get dressed, need to get makeup on, just to make me feel like self-human, right? Go to home goods. Come back out, ready to turn my car on. Key fog low battery. I was like, what? Did it again. Key fob not found. I put every bag that I have in my car next to the fucking button. And all I kept saying, key fob not found. Key fob not found. So guess what? I'm in a parking lot. Until who knows what time, because the towing company already told me that they probably won't get to me. So, because they're running about an hour and a half behind. And my estimated time was 11 something at 9 o'clock. And he told me it's probably going to be later than that. So... I'm going to be sitting in a parking lot when everything in this fucking town closes at 8, 9, excuse me, 9 today. And just hope the tow truck comes. I mean, I don't know what else to do. I called for help. No one helped me. My so-called husband is a fucking loser. How can you leave your wife in a stranded in a empty parking lot for whatever reason? And then play the game of, well, if you want help, ask. I want help ask. How does that happen? How does somebody who you're supposed to be a partnership in, if you want help, ask? I'm like, I just, I just want empathy. I just want to feel like you actually care. And you know what? More and more, I realize that there is, there's no. Sorry, the lighting here sucks. There's no remedy in our situation at this point. Um, sucks. But, um, if I'm going to be by myself doing things, I might as well be by myself. At least then, you know what? I'd be probably happier. You know, <clears throat> it's it's kind of hard when um, the person who you made vows with, you are, shit, sorry, I'm like, 
Um, ah, doesn't want to say because that's my life. Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, um, take my advice. Don't be with anybody who doesn't put you first. Um, the fact that um, I'm sitting in an empty parking lot waiting for a tow truck that may not get here until midnight and the person that's supposed to be there for you says what do you want me to do i just i don't know it's kind of hard when somebody's always telling you you're sick I'm the sick one. Granted, you know, there's nothing wrong with having mental health issues. I have them. I do. But when somebody uses it to hurt you, that's not healthy. And as much as you love the person, it comes to a point where you're like, how much more abuse can you possibly take? And then the person doesn't even think it's domestic violence because he doesn't hit me. Why do people feel like domestic violence is something that's physical? I guess because we've we've um that's how we stigmatize domestic violence, actually. I mean, sad, but it's still stigmatized after all these years. Um, what's the point of a restraining order? I don't know. You call to use it and then you find out, well, they didn't violate it. And you're just like, it's, I don't know about you. I don't know if anybody's ever been through the situation or just has have been put in a position where you realize that the person you chose to spend your life with is not who you thought they were. You know, like I said, my mental health hasn't been that great recently. I mean, you're talking about 10 months already in the car accident. Um... Yeah, I have my issues. And yeah, they're exasperated. And yeah, this morning might have not have happened because I was freaking out. But you know what? When you're married, you're supposed to be that person's partner. You know, I'm expected to be there. Why can't you expect that from the other person? You know what? And I don't and no matter what your sex is, okay? People can, female, male, whatever you want to you identify with, you could still be a dick and hurt the people you love the most. But don't act like that's them. At least be honest with yourself and say, I don't want this anymore. Why am I going to continue torturing her? I should let her go. And that takes a true man to do that. That's how I look at it. Because not many men would actually own up to that. And the funny thing is, I have more respect for people who do. I've always had more respect... (sighs) I've always had more respect for people who are 100, 100% honest. Because you know what? You can lie all you want. After a while, it's like there's so many lies. You can't keep up. And then, you know, Jesus. And then you have people who are saying to you, you got to leave. He's, in, he's gonna, never going to stop. Where am I going to go? 
all those people who offer, not even offer, tell me that I need to leave him. Tell me if I stayed with him, they would cut me off. Tell me that because he's an alcoholic, I he's a bad person. That's That's not true. Unfortunately for me, I am holding on to the good part of him. And there is no more good part of him presently. His vices are more important. Um, I'm not easy. Oh, far from easy, okay? Found out in therapy. I think everybody needs therapy. Okay, there is nobody in this world that does not have some issues, no childhood bent up issues, whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is. I was Billy, whatever. Um, you know, sometimes it's good to talk to somebody who is not related to you, doesn't know you from Adam and Eve, and you can completely be honest with a stranger more so than people that. Who are supposed to be your best friend, your confidant. But instead, those people are the ones who use that information to hurt you. Whether it's to end an argument, whether it's to drive their point across, it's not okay to torture someone. And I'm not talking about physical torture. I'm talking about emotional, mentally. Because, mm, sorry, I'm in the parking lot. I might get killed. Fucking movies. It's a teenage man. Oops, sorry. Not that there's anybody really on here, but. I don't even know what these are anywhere. It's fucking just, just, just annoying me. It really, it really sucks. I'm so sorry. I'm just like, anyway. So I told that company, tell me, you know, two hours behind. It's already 10.20, and you're ready for an hour and a half. I mean, at least I'm not the only car here. It's so weird seeing these stores just like pitch black. It really is. It's so weird. Um, this is better. It's kind of slanted, but you know, you know. By the way, Starbucks, I love you for this drink. Um,. It's the tropical refresher, which is passion fruit and pineapple. It's so good with coconut milk. Oh my god, it is refreshing. It truly is. But anyway, Hi to anybody who came on. However, it is a no. I am stuck here in a parking lot waiting for a tow truck because my car battery, my car key died. I don't get it. Everything is electronic now. Why can't we just have a fucking regular key for the car? And then I'm like, I'm taking bags, putting them up against it to press it. It says key fob low. And then all of a sudden, key fob not found. I'm like, are you are you joking? So then I went back into Home Goods and I went through all the aisles. I said, maybe it came out of my purse. But when I got into the car, it said key fob low. Put the bag closer. And then, and then that's when I got your battery is not, you can't find your key fob, so I'm stuck. 
then you call for support and <laughs> there is no support. <laughs> um, I get yelled at. When I called, first thing out of his mouth was like, oh my God, what did you do to the car now? What did I, what? What did I, that's how you, that's how you react? When somebody says, you need to get the car towed? What the, you automatically go to, it's your fault, what did you do? Instead of going, what's, what happened? Like, is there some way I can help you? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just, (sighs) it hasn't been really good for me mentally recently. My mental health isn't that great. I go through waves. Um, like I said, I know I'm not perfect. Um, nor do I pretend to be. Um, regardless of what my husband may think. Um, I don't look for sympathy. I don't use my illness to try to get sympathy. I'm just more of... If somebody needs help, give them help. Our health system here sucks. Our medical for mental health needs to improve. Just because you're taking a medication doesn't mean it's the right one. You know? And nobody understands that. Nobody seems to get that just because you don't see my disability does not mean it does not exist. Just because I smile sometimes when I'm out in public. I'll put makeup on just to see if it'll make me feel better. It never really does. I'll do my hair. Whatever. I'll do something. Does nothing. It's only a band aid. So it's like how much longer are you willing to? give a person how much how many chances do you give someone who just constantly belittles you constantly makes you feel like you're like shit you know like you're the worst thing that ever happened to this country like that's how I feel like I'm the worst thing that ever I'm like an abomination I blame Disney. Fucking Disney. Made made girls believe that fucking there's Prince Charming. There's no fucking Prince Charming. There's Prince, uh, alright. Okay, maybe. Prince Charming. Wait, let me fucking break. Snow White didn't know what she was getting herself into, okay? And the fact that a guy would kiss... basically a dead person that's like necrophilia okay disney that shit's not cute so he run he kisses every dead person that's laying there i i just i i tell my daughters all the time disney is not real disney are liars okay and tell me why disney loves to kill the moms kills every fucking mom i have yet to see, well, Cinderella lost both, okay? But well, mommy first. Mommy died first. And then daddy died. Bambi. Mom gets shot. Boom. That's it. Lion King is the only one that dad died. But why does a parent have to die, Disney? Why are we going to pretend that a glass slipper is just going to make everything so much better? Why? Like, I'm like, I don't get it. Ariel was 16 and she wanted to get married. And I was, they were like, all right, let's do this. Um, She gave up her voice for fucking likes. I don't, for a guy that she met once. Okay, talk about stalker. Mm. But, you know, Disney thinks that's okay. But when girls do that in real life, okay, because I have friends who do that, then they're crazy bitches. Envy now? 
I don't know if I said that right. I'm okay. I'm waiting for my tow truck to arrive. Um, but anyway, I was going on on a rant. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying because, you know, again, post concussion. Yeah, I think. Yep, yeah, it's just me and three other cars. Yeah, I'm like ready to like push my car off. I wish I wasn't so far. That's what I get for going home goods. <clears throat> but anyway, um I was watching some guy on TikTok. He makes me a lot. He's so funny. And he was talking about his mental health. And he was and you know, he was talking about how like um, our mental health system is not that great, yada, 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 Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And, you know, and he's right. There's one part I am 100% agreement with. Just because you go to a hospital to get help doesn't mean you're weak. It actually means you're stronger. Because it takes a lot to put yourself in a hospital voluntarily. Where are you doing? Where are you going? Nowhere. Nowhere. I'm stuck in a fucking parking lot in Connecticut. Well, everything closes at like the grab of dawn. Then the towing truck company tells me, you know, he's really nice. I mean, it's not his fault. Um, the guy's running behind us. It is. What? What? How many towing companies do you not... Do you not have any more? Like, what the fuck? So he goes, why don't you leave? Hi, Godfather sent. Um, not great. Stuck in a parking lot. Um, waiting to be towed. Um, and my day has just been a complete shit show all day. Um, my key fob won't work. Um, first it said low battery, and then it just said no key fob phone. And then I went into the store thinking I might have lost it, but I'm saying to myself, wait a minute, when I got in the car, it said it's low battery. So I just think it fucking died. Okay? Just died. And then I call for help. SOS? No. No. So, uh, towing truck company told me, even though my estimated time was 1030, he goes, you're looking at closer to like 11. 30, 12. The fuck? I'm like, are you joking? What? Consuming substances featured in this life can harm your health. Wow. I've never seen that before. Nice to meet you too. Where do you, where am I from? Is that what you mean? I am originally from New York, living in Connecticut. As I was told, this was a better life. Fuck me. How about you, Godfather? Are you close by? Maybe you can give me a ride. Because <laughs> by the time the tow truck company comes, who knows? I've never done that before, but yeah, hey, you want to join a live? I don't care. As long as, you know, you're clothed. No nakedness, please. And no nastiness. I do like the little fucking... Oh, oh the substances in this is a car art. Really? Can harm you? So can alcohol. If people do it all the time anyway, right? That's why I'm married to an alcoholic. But yeah, I'm the bad person. And I don't drink. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, I don't normally look like this. If you've seen my uh, videos. So anyway, so as I was saying, um, so now I'm sitting here hoping and praying that um, I don't get carjacked. Um, not that they can go anywhere with a car.
but still, my luck. Um, if bad luck was like the lottery, I'd be a billionaire right now, okay? I have one thing after another, after another, after another, and no one seems to understand that. They don't understand why sometimes people just lose their shit, okay? Sometimes it feels good to scream. I don't know about you, but just yelling. Just be like, even not to anybody, just scream and just let that frustration out. Let that anger out. Let whatever feeling you're going through at that time, let it out because you know what? It feels so much better. Digging it down deep and putting it down there and hoping that I'll just disappear never happens. Doesn't. Just makes fucking life worse. Am I single? Soon I will be. Um, But I have enough baggage. (laughs) I wouldn't put that on anybody else. I'm a 42-year-old mom of three. Okay? I wouldn't do that to anybody. Um, yeah, really. (laughs) Why? Do I look older? (laughs) Do I not look 42? Or do I not look like I should have kids? Which I would agree with you on. (laughs) Some people should just not procreate. (laughs) I'm one of them. (laughs) If I could go back, I would. You're crashing them? Crushing them? Is that like that word from Never Been Kissed? Is that from the Never Been Kissed movie? It sounds like that. What was it? He's he's crushing or he's cushing? I forgot what it was. I actually like that movie. Because I'm a sap. Again, fucking rom-coms. How dare they? I don't understand. You're crashing and and I'm crashing on you. I'm assuming. I'm not even going to assume. You're going to have to let me know what crashing on someone is. Is that like a new term for like a crush or like finding someone attractive? Like I'm confused. Um... But, um, um, anyway, I'm the type of, I'm like not your normal mom either. Okay. And kids tell me all the time, you embarrass me. I'm like, so do you. Um, am I married on paper? that make sense? Because nobody's here to help save my life. I had to do it myself. So anyway, well, let's not talk about that because that's just, just depressing. Truthfully. I like to like always talk about good stuff. You know, we could talk a little bit about, you know, drama in our lives. And just know that you're not alone. Mental health is is real. And because somebody doesn't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Again. And people who are medicated, they do it to live. I mean... You have very little choice when it comes to mental health. So you either get medicated and stabilize and live, or you choose no medication and live a life of not knowing what the fuck is going to happen. And instead of helping your life, you're just fucking it up even more. Ugh. Godfather sent. I am 42. Um, 
I feel like I'm in a containing game. I'm 42, originally from New York, from Queens. Um, have three children. My oldest is 17. My youngest is six. Going to be six, excuse me. Um, I have three, and then my middle one is 12 and a half. She's my little dancer. Um, so I have three kids. Um, married with someone who sold a bill of goods. I never thought at this point in my life I would be in this position as an adult. I don't know about you guys, but when I was young, my young self would be so pissed at me. What the fuck did you do with your life? I don't know. I'm so sorry, young me. I'm, I'm fucking disappointed to my young self, you know? I always picture myself at 42. I'm like fucking jet setting, you know? I'm like living life. I'm I'm over here, you know, drinking with moms and stuff like no. Instead what happens? I get hit from behind with by an eighteen wheeler. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that you think I still look young. It's the Hispanics. Us Hispanics really don't age. I know I'm shocking you, right? You're like, you're Hispanic? Yes, I am. Full, too. Mommy's Puerto Rican, Daddy's Colombian. Talk about a mix, okay? I've been told that mix is dangerous. It is. It's dangerous. Um, I don't know how many people have kids on here. Um... I have three, like I said. Um, oh, I like the lighting. I would have left this car and gone home in an Uber and come back if I didn't have my sunroof open. Fucking sunroof. <sighs> you can take care of me. How? In what way? Just curious. Um, yeah, so anyway, some still waiting. Tow truck, nowhere to be found. Um, he told me he would try to get it here, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not holding my breath. I'd be dead if I hold my breath. I'm sorry, I dropped something and now I can't get it. Fuck me. Anyway. So yeah, so okay. So for people who have kids around my kids' age, I want to know: Do your kids know how to read scripts? Mine don't. And guess what? They decided to put those little temporary tattoos on, you know, like those little phrases and stuff like that, like believe and smile and stupid shit like that, right? So that's what they got. So they're on their TikToks. And then all of a sudden, my daughter couldn't read the script part. She she was just, I don't know what she was saying. And then she finally figured it out. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? All three of them, two of my daughters and one of their friends was the oldest. How do you not know? Oh, what the fuck, bro? Why are we blinding me? Like, shit. Um. Anyway, I go. How How do you not know? Right? Because they don't see. Damn, he fucking blinded me. Now I'm like seeing dots. Um. You know, I know. They don't teach cursive anymore in school, and th- and that's okay. So I said, you know what? I'm going to fuck my house over. I'm going to turn all the labels into script. Okay? You want to fuck your kid over? 
script it, okay? Script everything. Script even if you're doing LOL. Script the L, script the O, script the L. I am totally going to be doing that. I'm going to change. I'm going to take all my cereal, put them in little containers, and write Spanish. No, I'm sorry. I should write it in Spanish, too. Cursive, and let's see how quick the food goes this time. Okay, because I don't know about you, but my kids are eating me house and out of house and home. And um, with inflation being the way it is and the prices being in the way they is, they need to control their mouths. Seriously, I'm not one to like deprive a kid of food, but did you have three meals already? Okay, then that's enough. You can actually decide to have a snack. Go eat a fruit. Go eat a go eat some raisins. Go drink some water. Go pick some fruit. I don't give a shit. You're not eating everything in the house because you're bored. And for people who have boys, um, is it normal to want to throw your remote in the fucking controller on the TV? Or want to break the TV? He beats up his sister. He's only going to be six. He took his PlayStation controller and hit her over the head. Why? Because homeboy is a sore loser. Okay? Has a total fucking meltdown. Hits his sister over the head with a controller. Because she didn't let him win. And she called him a sore loser. I was like, and he was crying to me. I said, but you are a sore loser. I'm sorry. Are you not? Okay. If you're jumping up and down and stomping your feet, you're a sore loser. Okay. If you're willing to break my TV, and God forbid you do because I will chop your hands off. I said, you're willing to throw that controller against the TV because you lost a fucking video game? Okay? I'm not, I'm not these type of parents that don't let their kids do that shit. I don't care. You want to play video games all day? You want to be on your iPad all day? That is fine. As long as you're not out and about, you're not doing things you're not supposed to do, I'm perfectly okay with that. Okay, again, living in different times than when I was growing up. Didn't have iPads, didn't have, but when Nintendo came, I played that shit, okay, on a regular. To the point where you gotta <sighs> blow on the the cartridges. But anyway, um, <laughs> I digress. Um, yeah, it just it just never makes sense to me. Jesus, you see. It never really, um, I didn't get it. I don't get how school closes because the threat of rain. I'm like, what? I had to fucking walk to school in snowstorms, you know? New York City did not close school. No, New York City public schools, it could be up to your knees. Walk. Leave your house early here so you can catch the early train or early buses and trains. Because, yeah, they're running even earlier. Yeah, fucking break. Still four cars here, including mine. So we're good. Sorry, I'm thinking you might get that notice on the bottom. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know how many people like suffer from some type of mental health, emotional issues. I mean, we all have to. I mean, let's be realistic. All our parents fucked us up one way, shape, or form. Um, <laughs> that's why we have so many. Girls who have daddy issues, or boys who have mommy issues. Um, it's just like back then. That's the way it was. Um, I was a latchkey kid. Like I was in. I was coming home from school, going right up to my apartment, with, and you know, doing homework, starting dinner, doing laundry if laundry was left out for me. And then we were doing shady legal because we had the laundry. We had a washing machine in the apartment, even though you weren't allowed to. And then we'd have to take all those wet clothes down to the basement to dry. 
Do you know how heavy wet clothes are? Okay. And then God forbid, I didn't get down there before they closed the basement. Because in elevators, you know, they turn the basement off after a certain time in certain elevators. Well, they turn the basement. And I would get in trouble. I would get in trouble. And I was told, you better hope those clothes are there tomorrow. And before you go to school, you're going to go downstairs and you're going to go get that. I'm like, are you for, yo, if it was up to my mother, she would have fucking, she would have taken me. Yo, she went down to the super and told him, listen, let her go down and pick up the, my, my laundry, please. And he was like, okay. He, everybody's scared of her. Hi. Hi, Gallon and Savannah. If I said that right. Um... Welcome to um, living in Fairfield County, Connecticut, and being stranded, waiting for a tow truck. Because apparently there's only tow, two tow trucks in all of Connecticut. And I'm in a home goods parking lot. And everything here closes at 9. So there's three other cars. I could have gone home, come back, and taken the chance that the car would still be here. All because my fucking sunroof is open. So I was told I can't leave the car. Not by the tow trucking company. By the person who I decided to take his last name. Yeah, I'm by myself. What else is going to start my life? Which I don't mind. Truthfully. I mean, I got on to live, I'm on a live, venting, <laughs> making people feel like, you know, your life is pretty good. <laughs> Mine is shit. <laughs> You're looking for a second wife? What are you, polygamous? <laughs> this is no big love shit. <laughs> Sorry. Why would I want to have more husbands? I'm trying to get rid of the one I have now. <laughs> <I'm> useless. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just at a loss at this point. I, I just, you know, I, I try, I try, but I just, I can't anymore. I don't know about any of you, but I don't know where you people are from. But when you're from a city and you move to some fucking place like this, talk about culture shock like whoa I didn't realize the nutmeg state was so boring wait my what do you, what do you mean wait wait what what is PFP is that drugs or something or I don't know what that means. You're gonna have to explain that to me. Um, I don't know slang. At least not this kind of slang. Um, yeah. So I know. Oh, my, your profile pic. You want me to read it? I can barely see it. I see two people in that picture. Yeah, there's two of you. I mean, in all honesty, I see two people, like a couple. So I thought that's a cute picture of a wife. Very cute, from what I can see. It looks like you have somebody with you, so yeah, it's cute. That's a cute little couple picture. Oh, the dude, like, that's just it. It's like a really hard picture. I'm gonna say, I, I look at you twice, if that makes sense. I give you a second look. Over. Um, 
and then I'm old. I don't I don't do none of this young people shit. Um so but um let's just hope the tow truck company comes before any of these other cars decide to leave. I honestly thought I would you know what? I was thinking saying to myself, I should just put the sun sun visors up. And will anybody know the car? I mean, if you can't have the key, how you, where are you going to go? And I don't know. I'm just. You're probably older than me. How old do you think I am? If you think you're older than me. Because something tells me I'm probably older than you. Okay. <laughs> I really do wish they had like 24 hour store. Like an actual store, not like no fucking CVS and Walgreens shit. I mean, like a legitimate store. 28. No. Longer. Older. I wish I was 28. Shit. 27 and 28 was a good year for me. And I was already a mom, so I'll take it. <laughs> You're 34. I'm 42. I'm older than you. I was right. Bingo. <laughs> we got a winner. Ding, 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 ding. And that's why I like the people. You ever go to those fairs? And people are like, let me guess your age. And you're like, all right, go for it. They only get one shot. Never got it. And they think I'm lying. I have to show ID. I'm like, are you you're making me show ID for a fucking fair game? Get out of here. <laughs> Whatever I'm eating. It's, it's genes. Genetics. Thanks to my uh, Puerto Rican and Colombian side. And I drink a lot of water. Water is key. People don't realize, but it's it's definitely true. And I usually don't wear makeup and stuff like that. So um, I'm always, like, basically always natural. Um, the only thing that ever changes on me is my hair. You know, like, that's the only thing that actually... I knew I should have brought my iPad. Fucking knew it. I have a question for you guys. Whoever's on. Out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. How would you feel if your significant other abandoned you? In the time of need. I'm curious. What? What is going on here? What? I don't even know what's going on.
I need a break. Fucking sweating now in here too. Oh god. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you use your name, that's cute. You know, it just dawned on me. I am a firm believer everything happens for a reason. Maybe the reason is because I'm gonna find my, maybe this tow truck driver might be my saving grace. Like literally, he might be my Prince Charming. Because of that. God, I'm so tired. And it's locked. I was kind of hoping some of you guys would like, keep me company. I just feel like I'm talking to myself. Just. <sighs> I'm starting to sweat because it's fucking humid out. I don't win. I don't win. Probably not even going to show up until probably after midnight. Like my ass is in bed after midnight. Oh, thank you. Stupidly wrong. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Um, I'm just hoping I don't get murdered out here. That's why I'm doing the live. So if anybody sees me get murdered or see somebody kind of kill me, want to kill me, please make sure to call 911 in Connecticut. Um, oh wait, hold up. It's not like the other states. You gotta call the town. Okay? So if you see somebody come and try to kill me or hijack me, you know, try to carjack me or whatever, please call the police of Westport, Connecticut. If you see some guy trying to like, or woman trying to steal my car or try to kill me for this car. Well, what they don't seem to realize, I would give it to them freely. Um, so I basically have a kid in each Uh, I guess each period of their life. I have an elementary school kid. I have a middle school and a high school. And my high school is school. My high school one is graduating this year. Um, from high school. And um, I'm saying to myself that's one down, two to go. And I'm at the point where if they decide to want to go live with daddy. That's perfectly okay with me. Um, I am not the type of person that feels obligated to have to be the parental person 24-7. Because you know what? You make them alone. Unless you did. I mean, unless you had artificial insemination or whatever the case may be. I mean, that's different. That's a whole different ballgame. But I'm talking about, like, if you have kids with somebody, you didn't make them alone. So why are women guilted or made to feel bad if they just, like, you take them. I'll pick them up every other weekend. Go for it. 
You take them to all their doctor appointments. You go to all the parent-teacher conferences. You do all that stuff, and I get to be the cool mom. I would rather that, okay, because I need my sanity. And I saw something, and it truly hit home on TikTok, as you know, the philosophies of TikTok. (laughs) But this one actually was true. And I don't know how many people will be able to relate. But do you know who you truly are? Not a mom, not a daughter, not a wife, not a girlfriend, not a fiance. Just by yourself. What are you? What do you like about yourself? And I was like, oh, shit. Nothing. I was like, oh, wow. I don't know what it's like to be anything but a daughter, a mother, a significant other. I've never just been Jessica. I was for a period of time when I broke up with my first um, father of my daughters. Um, That was fun. I was learning who I was. I was learning what I liked, what I truly liked. It's kind of like that movie Runaway Bride with um, Richard Gere and Julia Roberts, where she's like, she she conforms to whoever the guy she's dating. Like he asks her, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <clears throat> Sorry, he'll ask her, um, what is, how do you like your eggs? And because he noticed that she ordered them weird. Um, when he talked to all her exes, she ate the ex the same way he did. And, and he goes, how do you like them? And, you know, that part, they're all making eggs. And she says, you know what? I don't even like them at all. That's, that's basically what it is. I want that again. I want to be able to experience life a different I am happy. I had my kids and when I did, um, my son was more right for my husband because um, he wanted one biological one. And, um, I sacrificed my my future plans to give them one. Um, that's on me. Um, but yeah, it sucks. Because I said, when I hit 40, I'm going to travel because my daughters will be at old age. They can go to daddy and those other stuff. And now I have a mini be six-year-old. So I ain't going nowhere. Um... Unless I got a divorce and then I got a, then you coordinate and you make sure all your kids are gone that weekend. Um, I thought about it. Like, I've already, like, calculated it in my head um, how much time I would be by myself. Because I like being alone. That's one thing I was able, like, I was able to say that I have no problem being by myself. I'm very comfortable with being by myself. I look forward to being by myself. And it's not to drink or, or no, it's just me by myself. Being me. Not having to please anybody. Not having to worry about how, what you say, what you didn't say, how you said it. Where you going? Who you going with? That it. I mean, I. Sometimes you just stay quiet, you know. So, I have no problem locking myself in my bedroom, and just shut the world off. I learned that more so, and um, when I was hospitalized, um, you learn a lot when you're hospitalized. A lot of coping mechanisms. A lot of breathing exercises, a lot of mindfulness, 
because I was in DBT because of my diagnosis. But anyway, you know, you can tell when somebody's in therapy. Um, when they say, I validate your feelings. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> you're in therapy. Um, but that's okay. I think everybody should be in therapy. It's healthy. Um, it's good to have somebody who doesn't know you. Like, tell you, listen, wake the fuck up. You two, you're the problem. Not anybody. You. You know what I mean? Like, you need somebody, as much as it may hurt, you need somebody to be honest. And who else is going to be honest? Because people never are honest with one another. So, um, even your friends, they lie to you, to your face, just to make you feel better. Because I think that's what you want to hear. A therapist will tell you what you don't want to hear because they know that's what you need to hear. <sighs> People don't give therapists enough slack. We need more psychiatrists too because it's bullshit. Bullshit. I mean, you can't even go to a hospital if you wanted to. And that's sad. That shouldn't be the case. Nor should you be kicked out two weeks into your stay. Because medication is not stable by then. I don't know. I guess because I <laughs> I did so many stunts. Stunts. At a psychiatric unit. Basically all of 2008. Most of 2018. And then 2019. So then I can get off the medication. Because shit. Because the medication. Um. Is like one of those medications you can't just like cold turkey. Um, it's it is a guessing game because everybody's different. Everybody metabolizes medication differently. Some people metabolize it quicker than others. Some people are more sluggish. Some medications give you fucking nightmares. Some medications make you want to kill yourself. I mean, these are the side effects. Okay, medications the majority of them make you gain weight. But I've come to the conclusion that, fuck it, yes, my physique is not that of what it was when I got pregnant. Medication has been a toll on my body, but I'm still here. And people who are against medication, I guess they've never felt so lost that they were ready to end their lives or cut themselves so they can feel something. I, um, I'll be honest, I have um, borderline personality disorder with PTSD and anxiety. Um, mm-hmm. I also now have post-concussion syndrome, which in turn (sighs) makes anxiety worse, makes everything worse. Um, It's bad enough, you know, when you have your own issues, you're already emotional. So imagine that amplified. And the person who promised that they would be by your side no matter what, instead of help, she just drags you down more. Well, that's where I'm at, mentally and emotionally. Um, I may never be skinny again, like I used to be. I mean, I was always chubby. I lost, actually, I lost all my weight after I had my kid. I was thinner than I ever was. Um, but it was a struggle. It was not easy, but I it did it. I was skinny for a good second. Um... And then medications come in. And, you know, they don't really tell you you're going to gain weight. (sighs) Causes weight gain, causes this, causes that. I mean, they would put me on medication that would actually make me want to kill myself. All the times that I went back to the hospital was because of that stupid pill. It made me just want to kill myself when I took both. But it was just so weird. But 
I don't know. I didn't, so whatever. I mean, I made a lot of great friends on my psych ward. Um, I was in an all-female unit. It was a DBT unit. Um, so that helped. Um, and, um, and my binder, my DBT binder. I've, like, saved every piece of paper I ever got in the hospital. They have you do worksheets. I had all of that. I brought it all home. I would always bring it home with me. And before I would leave, I would always do a family session because it's easier for someone else to see what you can't because you're not mentally or emotionally capable of saying it. So having someone else say it for you makes it easier. So every time I was in the hospital, before I would be discharged or discharge was even discussed, I would say, I want a family session before we leave. Um, I just showed up on my screen. Oh, God, it's 11.15 and no one is here. Why? Go to see what my um, updated status was. So, the tow truck should technically be here already. Let's look at that. <sighs> I don't like the guy said they're behind and busy night. And then tomorrow I gotta get up early to go shoot my kids. And, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, that's the camera to hold on. Take my son to go get pic- take pictures of him modeling. Because <laughs> he's a little rapper. He wraps for small shops. We're like huge small shop supporters, so. Um, yeah, so I take pictures, you know, basically, I take, we go and we take pictures. My daughters help, and my daughters also um, are part of it now. It's a family affair. God, I'm sweating. It's so hot. Mm. I'm fucking real. And the thing is, like, I wanna open up. I wanna open the door, but I'm scared. Oh my god, I'm scared. Now, if you put me in Queens, wouldn't have been scared. Here, yeah? terrified. We were supposed to go to Dime. And stuff was misplaced, of course. Nobody wanted to help me. I was overreacting. I was so calm the fuck down. And, um, yeah, that's how my day started. And guess what? Mm-hmm. This is how well they checked. There was a bag, <clears throat> a reusable um, refrigerated bag. And inside was um, other reusable bags. Guess what? Guess what's in that bag? The hat and the chain. Okay? Told them that on the phone. I didn't check. I I checked that. We he didn't try, but instead calls my daughter. One of them. They're with their my my two daughters are with their dad. <clears throat> They're the seventeen and twelve year. Old. 
So what is he going to? Calls my daughter. Or texted her. Whatever it was, I think it was on because she that I was having a complete meltdown and I'm sick. Call your mother and see it. And let her know if you've seen it. Do you know how many times he's said I'm crazy to my daughters that I'm sick? I guess at that point you realize that person doesn't love you. Because anybody who would use their mental health and emotional issues and use that to hurt you, they don't love you. They never did. And I saw all the red flags. And I still married him. Because I loved him. And now, <clears throat> I loved a man, marry him, had his child. Almost a decade later, I'm sitting in a home goods parking lot waiting to get my car towed because of the stupid key died. Yeah. Crazy this way. That's not even called. That's not even called. I am so tired. I am scared to fall asleep. Cause I don't know what's. Cause all I need is one of them to fucking start knocking on the door. Oh, I got a text message. Could that be? Um, asking me if my technician got here. <laughs> no. How long does it take for your technician to get here? He hasn't. Or her. What would you rate your technician? How can I rate a technician who hasn't been here yet? And then when I look at my new ETA, they don't have them getting to me until close to 2 in the morning. What the fuck? Why? I could have walked home. <laughs> I gotta take my chances with the animals. Like, literally, you know, I'm not talking about people, I'm talking about animals. I'm taking my chances walking home. I'm probably getting hit by a car because there's no street lights. <sighs> to be young again, I would have done it too. If I was like 21, 22, oof, I would have left this car. It would have been home run. Then I would have went back walking. I could go home, walk, come back, get the key, put, walk back to this place. And I probably would get here before the tow truck. <sighs> And I can't play music. It's just, just yeah. I always say to myself on these things, I'm like, it's a Saturday night, Jessica. At least on the East Coast, it's almost 11.30. Everybody's getting ready to go out. 
Remember those things? And they were just leaving to go out to start your night, to start your Friday night. I mean, Saturday. What the fuck? Your weekends? How about that? Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, <clears throat> I remember those days. <laughs> and now I'm sitting here at 42 years old, alone, waiting for a tow truck. Way to go, Geico. Way to go. <sighs> and I'm like, what does one do? <clears throat> How many people have started over at my age? I'm curious. Is it easy starting over? <clears throat> Is it easy starting over at 42? And then it would be if you were younger. And the thing is, next time, making sure homeboy doesn't have family. And those aren't what they all correct up to be. Truthfully, I don't even get these fucking things. What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, what is what? TikTok light. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, uh, my room is like dead. Sad interact. Okay. All right, let's do this. Randomly, so like questions. What are three things you do every day? Okay. Three things that I do every day. Brush my teeth. Drink coffee. And watch my murder shows. That's what I do. I did. Um, I mean, I do. I used to, when I was younger, like them more. Um, I was kind of turned off by the whole Blair Witch Project thing. Fucking ruined everything for me. But as a kid, like, as much as it scared the shit out of me, I would watch it. Um, Freddy Krueger, Jason, um, Michael Myers, um, Hellraiser. And I watched all this stuff at my, at the time, my best, my best friend's house. We lived in the same building, and that was actually the only house I was allowed to go to. I mean, because my my mom and her mom, were, you know, like, we were all friends because we were all born the same year. Like, I'm January, and she was May. So, um, <clears throat> so with that being said, um, they liked it. So I would hang out with them, and then I'd watch it, you know? And I'd be like, you know, Stephen King, all those scary-ass movies. Like, you know, I watched them. Would I do it again? No, I'd like to have my sleep. Um, Cause I'm not gonna lie, I don't know about you people, but when I watch movies like that, I'm quick to be like, covering my feet under blankets. I'm like, fuck that, what, so a ghost can come and like, pull my feet? No, 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 no. Read any good looks lately. No. I don't read. What is the scariest thing to happen to to me? 
What is the scariest thing to happen to you? Well, to me, it was being hit by an 18 wheeler last October. I think that has to be the scariest thing. I mean, does anything else beat that? Thank God my kids are all healthy and stuff and nobody was in the car, but yeah, getting hit by an 18 wheeler purposely. A guy purposely ran into me and almost killed me. Yeah, that's the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. <clears throat> What qualities do you look for in another person? Hmm. Let's see. Qualities I look for in somebody. But I, it, and honestly, I'm going to be truthful. This is like just in general. Um, because, you know, people who I hang out with have to have these qualities regardless. If we're just friends or anything like that. Honesty. Um... Even if it hurts the person's feelings, I would rather you be honest than lie to my face. Cheating. Um, anybody who cheats, I, can, I can't be with. Um, so I guess I would say fidelity. Uh, um, make me laugh. I love laughing. If you can make me laugh, that's a huge thing. Um, someone who gets my dry humor and can take it. Not everybody can. I get told, you're such a bitch. I'm like, not my fault you can't handle me and my jokes. And then the sad thing is, the stuff that I'm saying to people sometimes isn't a joke. But they think it is because I'm so sarcastic and so dry all the time. So, like, those are qualities. I mean, if you have money, great. It's not the end of the world. What is the best thing about your culture? <laughs> not that it's the best thing about my culture. I just... Um, the music. Um, I have to say the music because no matter what mood you're in, you put some J Balvin, Bad Bunny, just music. It, just, it does change your mood. It really does. I love music. Um, what did I do last weekend? Went to TJ Maxx. Hi, Matt. Mickley. 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 You're tuning in. <clears throat> I'm in a parking lot waiting for my car to get towed. How old are you? I am 42. Um, what does your handwriting look like? I don't even know if I have a pen. Oh, shit. <laughs> I really don't even know if I have a pen or not. Oh, wait, here's a pen. Now I'm doing a piece of paper. I guess I'm going to have to use this. Wait, give me a second. I'm joking. This is just... Um, this is just one of the way I write. My, my handwriting changes depending on my mood. Well, who gives the best gifts in your family? I do. Because it's pretty. What is on my handwriting. Thank you. Um, who gives the best gifts in your family? Me. Because I actually put thought into it. No one else ever does. Uh, when? Who? Do, oh, thank you. My handwriting. Who do you get along with best in your family? No one. 
Um, no. Um, I don't have a relationship with the majority of my family. Um, immediate family, that is. Um, so I guess the only one I would say that I get along with is my grandmother. She's my life. She's my everything. She's my world. <laughs> Your kids. <laughs> Favorite gaming moments in the last year. I don't play games. Play video games? <laughs> Who in your family makes the best food? I do. Uh, oh, like in general, like my grandmother, obviously. Um, she's number one. And then my mother, she's number two. My aunt, number three. I'm very picky of whose food I eat. I'm like, seriously, it's like really bad. My, your favorite sleeping position, I would have to say stomach. I'm a stomach sleeper. At least I like to be. How I wake up, who the fuck knows. What was your happiest moment on TikTok? Feeding my kids with followers. And getting more likes on my videos than them. Because I'm petty. What would you describe your perfect? How would you? Oh my goodness! How would you describe your perfect birthday? Okay, my perfect birthday would be a surprise trip to since on January. Um, I want to go see the Northern Lights. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I want to go to Iceland and Greenland, you know, whichever one that has the better view. Um, I've always wanted to do that. And what better time than on my birthday? I want to go to France too. I really do. But you see France, you can go any time of the year. Apparently to see the um, Northern Lights, you it's, it's a certain time of the year only due to the the rotation of the earth or some shit like that. Don't ask me. I'm pretending I know what I'm talking about. What is your favorite month? Um, October. I love Halloween. How do you plan your time off? Um, how do you plan your time off? I don't. I just wing it. I decide that day. Oh, June. Oh, so happy belated birthday. My daughter's still lying. What do you want to do in your free time? Sleep. <laughs> sleep, 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 sleep. When you become a mommy, all you want to do is sleep. Like, now I'm mad at myself that I never uh, took advantage of nap time the way I should have. Now I'm regretting it. Um, my key fob apparently had a little battery. And then when I tried to turn the car on again, it was, it was off. I can't find it. It's saying that it's not key fob not found. Like, are you fucking kidding me? I even went back into the home goods. And I said, but wait a minute. I drove here and I almost turned the car on. It just said my battery was low. So who the fuck knows? I'm like, I'm in fucking Fairfield County where everything shuts down at like 8 o'clock at night. I'm not used to that being from New York, the city that never sleeps. Um, <clears throat> what did your life look like in five years? Oh, my God. Mm. So I keys are better. I do agree. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand why you can't get a key and a key fob, like an actual physical key. Like, why is everything electronic now? Don't you know all this shit has batteries and you need to charge? Like, what the fuck? This isn't a Tesla. I'm not plugged in anywhere. But anyway, um, what does your life look like in five years? Something. In five years, I'll be 47. So I'm going to say... God, I hope so. I have a better place than I am right now. Um, in my home, 
paid in full. Going on vacations as a family and by myself. Um, just being in peace, you know? I just, I just want to be happy. I want to be in peace. I hope that's what I'm on this. I hope that's what it looks like in five years. How do you react when somebody disagrees with you? Like a psycho, apparently, if you ask my husband. I'm a crazy bitch. Um, but then the response is, well, you're Hispanic, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, Hispanic women are quick to start arguing. And I'm like, because we don't say shit. I don't have patience for stupidity. And especially if you're older than me, fuck you. You should start acting it, okay? I'm the one who should be acting like a child, and you should be acting like a fucking grown-ass man. Okay. That's how I react. If it's him. If it's somebody else, I kind of just let it go. What do you say to yourself to motivate? To motivate you? I think all women are psycho to men. I think that's just their, that's just our code word for them. Maybe, but I have Italian friends who are called just as fucking crazy, not crazier. So, you know, I just, I just think it's a female thing and men just like to call us crazy. You know, they want to make it seem like we're not playing with a full deck, but in all actuality, they're the ones not playing with a full deck. When their mom is boys and can't be a man, but whatever <laughs> what do you say to yourself to motivate you one second at a time therapy i like sports like to watch sports don't play sports no i do not like pineapple on my pizza um, I am not Spongebob. Um, pizza, to me, is not supposed to have pineapple. And this is coming from a New Yorker. Um, yeah, I'm not into those Hawaiian pizzas. No. What motto do you live by? It is what it is. I say it all the time. It is what it is. What are some weird but good food combinations? Ooh, toasted bagel, okay. Hear me out. Toasted egg bagel with cream cheese and bacon. Fucking amazing. Try it. Also, pancakes with cream cheese and syrup. Better than butter. I'm telling you, it's really good. Anything, uh, yeah, garlic bread with cheese. I, I got you. Totally, totally agree. Anything with cheese is 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 yummy. But um, the cream cheese with bacon on a toasted bagel. Oh my god, it's fucking awesome. You guys will be thinking it. And then or not when you gain the weight. Um, and then um, the pancake with cream cheese and syrup. Fucking phenomenal. I'm weird, I know. Uh, do it, no. I don't listen to much podcast. I don't think I listen to any podcast. I don't think I have listened to one. I prefer breakfast. I am the type of person who can eat breakfast all day for every meal. What's something you're looking forward to? Um, Right now, I am looking for forward to the tow truck getting here yeah that's what i'm looking forward to um but in the long run my case closing and settling yeah i'm, I'm tired already with all this rehab from the fucking car accident <sighs> what is your favorite cocktail oh ever since my accident i can't drink i tried and i got sick um Margarita. Frozen margarita. 
I know. What? Am I, am I dealing with CPI? No. What? Did I read that again? What does CPS mean? Are you talking about post? I'm dealing with post concussion syndrome. Um, due to the 18 wheeler that hit me. Oh, no, no. It was a car accident. Um, last October, I was rear-ended by an 18-wheeler. Um, and here in Connecticut, um, shit is run differently. And um, I, I can't close my case and all this other stuff until um, until um, I get discharged from all my treatment. So I'm hoping. I thought that she meant, but... Um, I wasn't sure, <laughs> and I want to, like, assume, I never like doing that. I, <clears throat> like I said, I have post-concussion syndrome now, so, um, like, I have very bad short-term memory. I can have a conversation and go completely blank in the middle of the conversation and not even remember what I was talking about. Um, I lose my balance, now I get vertigo, um... I have to get Botox because of the headaches were so severe. Um, and the only reason why I know I get headaches is because I get nauseous. Once I get nauseous, I know I have to relax and lay down and stuff like that. I get eye fatigue. I'm in speech. Please. It's a lot. And when I was testing, the doctor was like, did you ever have any learning disabilities? Are you sure? I'm like, oh, my God, how are they testing? You have no pulse. And that hurts, especially when you're actually not stupid. Kind of like makes you feel worse. Yes, I sing in the shower. I do my best singing in the shower. Um, I go all out. It's like a whole fully concert. Like when I was a kid, I used to bring in my um, boombox. And back then you had to like, record and play to hear your favorite song over again right so i used to do full-on performances and don't get me started how i can quote and recite you all of the little mermaid and dirty dancing oh thank you i appreciate it i love prayers positive vibe what do you do for a living nothing um I'm a stay-at-home mom who's um, disabled. They have me as retired. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> you can label me as whatever you want. Oh. You're... Okay, wait. I just... I took... Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Yes. Do you eat the crusts on your sandwich? Yes. Yes, I do. My kids, no. And then I told him, you can take the crust off. I'm not taking the crust off. It's fucking bread. What would you do if time was frozen for 24 hours? Mm. What wouldn't I do? Travel. Travel, buy bags that I can't afford, shoes that I can't afford that I've always wanted, cars that I've always wanted to drive that I can't, my own personal plane. I mean, you know, so many things, so many things I would do if time was frozen. Are you crazy? Hmm. Let me see. How old were you when you started working? Fifteen. 15. And I stopped working when I was um, laid off at 36 years old. So I worked 21 years of my life. And I went to school full time at the same time. 
ordering. I do not like to cook. I mean, I do like cooking occasionally, but um, it's not in me anymore. My ex kind of screwed me around, fucked me over with that, so I don't cook. Do you prefer going to the beach? I don't do camping. I did camping as a kid with my cousins, okay? My male cousins, my female cousins. I was the only girl at the time, okay? And the older one. So I would get taken camping. Happy? Because it was getting me out of my house. And um, and it was fun. We went to Hershey Park camping. We, like, um, stayed at their um on their campground and then another time we went camping it rained and and my uncle was like we'll sleep out in the rain i'm like fuck you no we're not open up the car door homeboy i was about 10 yeah i'll do glamping get back at me with glamping what was your top highlight from last year i had no clue i wouldn't even be able to tell you because i have no idea how do you deal with negativity? Woosa. Um, mindfulness. No, I'm kidding. I never use mindfulness. Um, smoke a little. Show me out. Frustrated. That's how I am. I am frustrated that I am still waiting. Still waiting for the tow truck. But you can't, you can't let it get to you. Cause you know what? Life's too short. Not everybody's gonna agree with you and not everybody's gonna like you and you aren't here on this earth to make everybody happy and remember that. Since before nine, <laughs> and it's gonna be twelve here in Connect, where I live in Connecticut. It's fucking ridiculous. And then the new updates says I'm not gonna get anything until um close to two, but whatever. That's why I said why not do a fucking live, and then I'm saying to myself it's a fucking Saturday. No one's going to watch it. So I've just been talking to myself mostly. Um, so I'm kind of just losing my mind. Oh, I wish my husband would leave for a weekend. He has no friends. And I wish he wouldn't talk to me. Sometimes his voice annoys me. Is there someone you really love? Yes, my kids and my dog. Your your boyfriend, your husband's ex? I don't know what he is. Listen. Be careful when you knock teeth out because that's jail time. Is she worth the jail time? Oh, his girlfriend. No one's worth jail time. Yes, I work from home. I'm both. Both. I can pretty much. Well, I used to be able to, like, do. 24 hours and then go to work the next day now this is past my bedtime <laughs> when i hit the bed i am gonna Ugh. what do most outrageous pandemic purchase the nuggets a whole fucking shitload of nuggets in that. Um, I would say maybe, maybe maybe there was something else and I just don't remember. 
where was was there ever a movie you thought was boring? Okay, first of all, whoever wrote these questions, spell check please. Was there ever a movie you thought was boring? Thought. Thought was boring. Yeah, whole shitload of them. Blair Witch Project was number one. I mean, I don't, I don't know what was that. How do you like to de-stress or unwind? Um, smoke. Smoke. Um, take my prescribed medications. Um, watch my murder shows. And smoke. What annoys you the most? Assholes. People who don't live up to their promises. Who talk so much shit. Make themselves the victim constantly. It's everyone else's problem but theirs. They can go fucking murder somebody and they'll blame it on you. That's what annoys me. People who don't hold are never held accountable for their actions. This, I don't know. I can't really answer that because I don't know what the fuck that is. Did you, do you have any hidden guilty pleasures? Yes, I do. I mean, don't we all? Um, my guilty pleasure is um, listening to Barbara Streisand and the Bee Gees. Do you believe dreams have hidden meanings? Absolutely. I'm like, I'm like, I completely agree with that. Um, I have a lot of deja vu. Um, baby witch <laughs> no but um yeah i do believe every dream has a meaning there's always something it's your self-conscious trying to tell you something which fictional character do you relate to the most to most what's a fictional cat like from a movie tv show no, I can't think of anything. Maybe we'll get back to that. I can't think of anything. Have you ever made any pork? Yes, <laughs> of course I did. Everybody does. What is your favorite TikTok creator? I have so many. I love. I love a lot of people on here. They're so awesome. What's your favorite present you received? Um, my dog. What would be your perfect day? Someone who planned everything ahead of time, made reservations. took time out and it's not all about how much he's spending it's just the little things that's what you gotta look at the little things how do I like my coffee hot hot I have an espresso machine so hot with the foam not too crazy about the fun, but I like the fact that it, you know, frosts up the milk. But yeah, that's all. And then creamer, whatever, flavor, whatever. What is your favorite? Oh, fall. Love fall. That's my favorite season. My favorite food is my grandmother's. Ooh, what is your favorite song? Oh, Jesus. There's so many. It depends on what genre, what playlist it's on, what I'm feeling at that moment. So yeah, I have too many to list. What do you look for first in a friend? We have to click. If we don't click, there's no friendship. If I don't like you, There'll be no friends.
What's your favorite ice cream flavor and topping? <laughs> really? I have to give one flavor? Mint chocolate chip? I don't know, I usually don't do toppings. What? What? Um, what was a life-changing moment for you? Becoming a mother. I know, it's sappy, right? What shows do you been watch? Every show on ID. Hulu. I watch um, What We Do in the Shadows. Love that show. Um, Rick and Morty. Archer. Um, Golden Girls. Um, Netflix shows, like Fling Empire, the, um, the cooking, the British cook-off, whatever the fuck it's called, um, Bob Ross, to go to sleep, ASMR is really good with that. I don't know how I can hear What's one thing you've brought but never used? My wedding band. Do you love to travel? Yes. I just wish I could travel more. My kids. I volunteer at school for my kids. Like, you know, the PTA or here it's PTO, whatever the fuck. You know, that kind of stuff. And that's what you mean by. <sighs> How much time do I spend with my family? Mm. Sometimes too much. Um, sometimes it's like, oof, you know, we need a break. You know, I need my space. Um, I can't, I can't deal with clingy. Um, so, um, I would say that. Um, I try not to spend too much time. I kind of just do it individually. Because I can't do all three of them at the same time. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm trying to fucking throw myself in front of the Metro North. I'm both, if that's possible. But I am, I am both. Do you have a favorite story of your grandparents no what do you like about your current job I don't some of these questions are like well how old are we do you live by any words of wisdom or advice and that's what it is And what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What's the craziest dream you've ever had? Oh my god, the craziest dreams have to be like when you actually feel yourself in the dream. Like, it feels real. And like you fall and then all of a sudden you find yourself waking up jumping because you thought you fell. That's what it feels like. Those are crazy dreams because I never really remember why. I just remember like falling or... Um, I'm falling to my death, and then I'll, I'll jump up, like, you know, like, you kind of, like, you know, that's it. I'm a dog person, that was easy. I should be sleeping right now, okay? This is way too late for me. I... With the post concussion, it varies. Like my eyes are hurting from it right now. I consider myself an adventurous person. I mean, and then I go, oh, 15 minutes? He's like, no, 50. What? What the fuck? How is that the closest tow truck company? 
I mean, it's not their fault, but shit. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, I'm an adventurous person. Yeah, you know why I'm adventurous? Because you know what? When this toy truck driver comes, I'm going to end up sitting in the front with him and taking the chance that he's not going to kill me. Like all my murder shows, but that's okay. Life short, whatever you mouse with this. What do you do when you're bored? Watch TikTok videos. Good day I used to do it when I'm not when I'm sad. I need a laugh. Um Yeah, that's what I basically do. Or go on Pinterest. Or shop. What's your best personality traits? Depends on who you ask. I would say um, what you see is what you get. I don't pretend to be something that I'm not. Um, Like, I think people think they're getting something specifically with me, and they don't, and then I think it just throws them for a loop. What's the best restaurant you've been to? Ooh, better. Alex Granatelli's restaurant. Love her. She's my girl crush. And I got to eat there. And the food was phenomenal. And so is the drink. I totally recommend if you're ever in New York and get reservations. It's it's so worth it. And if you like Alex Granatelli, I mean, her food is amazing. She sometimes actually shows up in the kitchen and cooks your meal and you don't even know it. So I'm kind of hoping that that one might have happened. Um, day I went. What is the best thing about being a parent? The tax deductible. I'm kidding. I mean, I love my kids, but um, I don't know what the best thing about being a parent is. It's not fun. It's too much responsibility. Like, I have to keep people alive and shit. And like, I, there are times I don't even want to keep myself alive. I'm like, I don't know. I guess that my kids are somewhat like me. And they never cease to amaze me. No, I've never broken any bones. Huh? How do you pick yourself from making a mistake? I don't even know how to answer that. Um, takes me a while. Because I don't realize the mistake until years later. And I'm still in this situation. What was your defining trend from last year? What was the strangest place you've fallen asleep? I could fall asleep anywhere. Anywhere. Um, I have no problem knocking out knocking out like in the car. I have no problem knocking out on a bus, a train. Like I fall asleep anywhere. There is if I'm falling asleep, there is no stopping me. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to throw myself on the floor. Concrete now, but I mean, I've laid on grass. To take a break. What was your dream career as a child? Hmm. Pediatrician. I started off wanting to be a pediatrician, and then um, I realized that um, it's not that easy. You get attached to your patients, and I just, I don't think I can handle losing one or having a tall parent bad news about their child. So um, 
I wanted to be a pediatrician. And then when I realized that, I decided I wanted to become a child advocate attorney um, to fight for kids who nobody's fighting for. Um, and then I wanted to be a jack lawyer. Did I do any of that? No. What are your best party tricks? Jello shots. Tons of liquor. Um, vodka infused gummy bears. What is your definition of success? To keep being able to keep on going even if you fall. Back when anybody has to say, keep going. What is your favorite movie scene? Marissa Tomei and Joe Pesci on My Cousin Vinny. What's a product you recommend? Um... For hair, like just shampoo wise, I like I love the Davy Davis Davies, I think it's called. Um, Davinos, I think I think it's Davinos. So good, it smells so yummy, and it's amazing for your hair, and it's good for color treated hair. Um, if you can live anywhere, what would it be? on my own island. <laughs> How do you learn to trust someone? It has to come natural. If you don't trust them, that's the reason for it. And you kiss on the block. I don't really get dressed up often, so I'm always like in PJs or sweatpants and t-shirts or whatever. Um, that's basically what I wear. So they don't make me feel anything comfortable. Yes, I'm a wheeling ghost. Almost two-year-old with me and my sister. Only because she was free to fly. Because, you know, kids are free to fly, so they're two. So why not? And it was the best time I've ever had. We had so much fun. She had a ball. I mean, she was dancing on stage. She was such a trooper on the flight. I mean, even when we went to Columbia too. I mean, the kid, kid's a trooper, kid's a trooper. I'm always on. What was your favorite age growing up? Every age. Until you realize the year later what a fucked up year it was. Have you ever encountered true love? I don't know. Do we ever? Yes. What activity brings you peace of mind? Smoking. And music. What is a relationship deal breaker for you? I don't know. I've forgiven so many times. 
I've forgiven people I shouldn't have ever forgiven. So, um, when there's no more trust, what is your biggest irrational fear? not being able to find stuff and being told that I'm crazy that I lost it yeah um, I'm gonna die here if you can try anything new thank you for the likes if you can try anything new what would you do Be one of the things I wanted to be when I was a kid. Who's my best friend? Who's your best friend? Guy Douglas. Like, I'm scared to do this, but. Didn't work. Um, she, my, my friends know who they are. Today, heartbroken. Mm, snacks. Why do we have to have a favorite? Why can't we just like all of them? Mm. What do I define? What do you define as family? People who are there for each other, they're thick and thin, or their blood or not. Sometimes people you choose as your family are much better than the ones that are actually biologically related and genetically related. No, we don't have family reunions. I don't have a favorite game. What is the silliest thing you've ever argued over? Depends. Mm. <laughs> the silliest thing you ever fought over. I don't know. I fought over stupid things. I don't know if they were silly. Um, any color. Ooh, who would act as you in the movie of your life? No glow. No clue. None. No idea. Zoe is our new addition to the family. Um sometimes I will um be in drive through at Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. And um, sometimes I'll pay for the person behind me. Um, pay forward type of thing. Um, this time, um, I was um, working and there was homeless guy. My dog. And I would buy him food and give it to him. And buy the dog food. Wouldn't give him money. But I would buy him a meal during my lunch hour. And get the dog food. hug and a kiss? No. A fast metabolism. 
What do you like to do when you're alone? This? Listen to music, color, watch TV, lay down, and uh, definitely not waiting for a tow truck. What songs should I listen to? <laughs> what do you usually do when you're bored? Now they're just starting to repeat themselves with no daily. Who in... Oh, I can't even read that. Who in your life do you love spending time with? Hmm, my kids. It's pretty great. Ooh, the Avengers. Doing a uh, plant drive. Like, just, like, fucking sliding on concrete after getting coffee from Starbucks. And my dress going up. <laughs> I can be both. I could be a night owl and I can be a morning bird. How do you define beauty? It's in the eye of the beholder. Go to song to dance to. Oh my god, there's so many. Uh, but, um, like if I'm out, Groove is in the Heart by D Light always gets me on the dance floor. What is your favorite midnight snack? Salad? That's what I've been eating recently. Mm. Actually purchased? I don't, don't remember. What's something about you that nobody knows? That nobody knows? Or that I haven't... My car accident. My car accident is something not a lot of people know. Color, I dream in color. I am a Capricorn. What is your zodiac sign? I am short. Yes, I'm very good at keeping secrets. No, I'm not afraid of ghosts. On um, at the ocean. Water. No. Survive. And keep moving forward.
this TikTok is the new hobby. What do you regret not doing? Traveling before having my kids and experiencing life. That's just me. Not as anybody's mom, daughter, granddaughter, sister. No, just me, Jessica. That's what I regret. Not learning to find my Julian. What do you feel you can be yourself around? Not many. Um, I mean, my kids do agree, but I would have to say when I was in the psychiatric ward, I mean, how raw, how much raw can you get? I listen to all types of music. Um, only when I don't listen to this country, really. Or Mozart. Whatever makes me laugh inspires me. What song best describes you? I'm a bitch. 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 What was my first job? Oh, telemarketing. No books. Enjoy the shit show. No, I'm not a musical fan. I used to have a good memory before I was rounded by an 18 wheeler. We used to. Work in sales again. I don't know, work with people. I've been here watching too much Star Trek. Um, maybe. I mean, who am I to say it's not happening? <laughs> what game do you remember from your childhood? Duck, duck, goose. What, lot, what would you do first if you won the lottery? Pay my debt off. I have two doggies. I don't have a favorite board game. I am allergic. Yes, I have allergies. <sighs> oh, curl up in bed, cuddle, and watch movies. And eat in bed all day. I like crafting. If, do you have any advice for starting a business? Because I don't. What is a new story about you? Oh. I'm stuck in a home goods parking lot. Since before night. Who can say that? Mean. <laughs> Biggest regret. Oh my God. 
I mean, I can't say regret. Anything that made you smile once, you can't really regret it. I mean, there are people I wish I never met. Do I regret them? No. Would I have been okay with never meeting them? Pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure. I have three. Doesn't mean I want, I like having them. <laughs> what was best in the Use three words to describe your week. What the fuck? What's the funniest joke you ever heard? Can't give it to you. What's your go-to news source? I don't. What's your most prized possession? My kids. Have you ever chased back your family? I tried. It's hard. What do you do to deal with... Okay, I don't know that. Favorite moment with your pet? Cuddling in bed. What do you... Where do you want to travel to next? Ooh. Now that's fun. Oh my god, there's so many places I want to go to. Uh, first place I would love to go to is Croatia. I want to go to Amsterdam. Because I want to Amsterdam. And I want to see my tulips. And then I want to go... To... Wait. Wait. I'm getting there. I'm trying to remember. Turkey. Thank you. I'm like, what? For the Turkey. I love to go to Turkey for the hot hot air balloons. It's gorgeous. Um, Turkey is really pretty because my grandmother watches novelas that are from fucking Turkey translated into Spanish. Whatever. Um, and it's gorgeous. And the people are stunning. Um, and then, you know, the typical places, France. Spain, Portugal, Germany. I would love to go to Austria. Prague. Wait, no. Sorry. Wrong country. Um, Vienna. I mean, um. <laughs> Didn't feel like a dog. Brussels. I would like to just do a Euro train backpack. No, I don't have any hidden talents. Red and blue. Do you know any riddles? Actually, I do know riddles. Um, that I can remember them at this particular time? No. Um, I'm not the fucking riddler. I, I can just, like, come out with shit. Um, riddle me this. Riddle me why my bank account's always negative. Who is a hero? No one. Top pet peeves has to be hearing people chew. The sound of people chewing kills me. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. The sound, I just, ooh, talk about a fucking pet. Yeah, I just can't. Or people who bite their nails and spit them across the room.
Rainbow cookies. Mm. No, I don't like to work out. I kind of just want to manifest on myself skinny. If you can live in a movie, what would it be? There's so many movies. Um, Sabrina. That's a nice one. I didn't like that one. Um, I would pick like places, you know, movies that are like based in places. Um. takes a holiday breakfast at Tiffany's those are just a couple who's your favorite actor Tom Hanks he always was like everyone jumped on the Tom Hanks bandwagon after he won the Oscar for Philadelphia but I was a fan of his since he did Bosom Buddies. I've been a huge fan of him ever since he did Splash. And don't get me started on Turner and Hooch. I live in Connecticut. I can't even think anymore. I give more than second chances. I give four chance. I give triple quadruple a hundred times I give too many what about my answer to TikTok you want another therapy talking to strangers and just going with it yep that's what did it I just needed to vent. Use three emojis to describe you. Hmm. What would you describe? How would you describe your favorite pet? Um, I own my favorite pet. What are you most grateful for? I think we did this one already. What would you act? Who would I? Yeah, we did this already. This one I have. Yeah, there are. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on here, guys. I'm like... <clears throat> I still can't... I can't believe I'm fucking not here yet. Five minutes before he's supposed to get here. Like 
very sad. Someone and I. I'm legit just tired. I'm so, so tired at this point. I just kind of just give up, you know? Like, you're just like, you're defeated. You're kind of just like, whatever. <sighs> That's me now. That's me now. I'm bored. I'm bored in the house. I'm bored in the house. I'm bored in the car. I'm bored in the car. I can't play any music. Fucking sucks. Not fair. So weird. I don't even know what like half of this shit is doing. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so tired. Wish I was sleeping beauty. I'm just gonna get to sleep. Just, just fucking sleep. Not, you know what this sauna means? Do I have to pay for this tow? To go home? Fuck. Like, I'm... Like, I'm done. I'm, like, I'm really... I'm curious. Like, is he gonna be like, Okay. It's... Five kajillion dollars, and I'm gonna be like, take me home. I'm gonna pick up the car later. <sighs> Should have just went home. Now I gotta hope that. I gotta hope nobody. I hope I go home. I hope they get home. How about that? I hope they get home. Oh my god. Uh, oh shit. <sighs> I've actually never sat in a toad. Have I? I think once in my life. Is that not? No. No, no, no. I didn't sit in the tow truck. My dad said I didn't. We didn't sit in the tow truck. We took a taxi. Yeah, I've never seen a tow truck before. Is it safe? I'm just kidding. I'm sure I'll be fine. If not, fuck it, whatever. Put me out of my misery. <laughs> it's so funny. 
so funny. <laughs> Hope everyone has a good night. And everyone is gets home safely. Um... If I don't, watch out for me an ID. Um, or my kids will get on and pretend they're, you know, they'll let you know what's going on. <laughs> they're gonna be like, Mommy never came home from the tow drive. <laughs> <Damn it>. <sighs> <sighs> he was supposed to be here by now. Have a good night. Hope you all get home safe.